Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. So today I'm making some pork chops, some sweet potato, as well as some sweet corn on the side, I think. So let's get started. So I really haven't been feeling too grand today. Um, so I'm making something a little bit light for dinner. But I decided, why not have you guys keep me company? Um... The vegetables are going to be quite normal, but I want to make the pork really special um, because it is such a simple meal. So I just want to elevate the pork a little bit. So what I'm going to do with the pork is I'm actually going to spice it with the spice over here. I normally buy it from, um, I think it's Westpac, yeah. And then I've got some breadcrumbs. So, firstly, let me start by putting in the breadcrumbs. I've got a Ziploc bag. And that's how I'm going to be getting all the spice and breadcrumbs on my pork chops. It makes it much, much easier than drudging. And then I'm putting the spice in quite liberally. I'll try and work out the quantity so I can give you the recipe if you would like it, but it's actually quite liberal. So I've got a, a Ziploc bag, right? And I've got quite a large one, as you can see. And that's going to uh, mean that I'm able to then put at least like two um, pieces of meat inside to be able to rub it properly. So, whenever you're handling food, make sure that you make sure that your hands are clean and you wash them. And that's what I've done. And if you can, actually, the best thing would be to use tongs. But, um, maybe I should get tongs. Let me get tongs. My hands are going to be dirty. Gave my hand a quick wash and I've got the tongs. So as you can see, I've got the pork with the bread coming on it as well as the spice. It's funny how much spice and bread coming you actually get on your pork, but I don't mind that at all. So I'm going to put all this pork in here. And then, while I do that, I'm going to tell you that um, the side dishes I'm making, I'm making a sweet potato, just uh, making normal sweet potato, and then I'm going to be making sweet corn as well. Um, it sounds like a strange combination, but it's actually quite satisfying when you eat it with pork, because pork does like um, sweet accompaniment, and that's why I made sure that my pork is absolutely savory in taste. So there's no clashes. Plus, I like pork, and when I'm not feeling too good, it normally helps me feel a heck of a lot better. So that piece is a bit big. I'm just going to put just the one in, but I'm sure you get this tip by now, right? So the breadcrumbs I'm using um, were actually made by my daughter Kati and every time I need any kind of breadcrumbs or crumbing she always makes it for me. I think in the beginning she used to really like it. She probably doesn't anymore but I'm very grateful. So we're almost done with this process. So once I've got all my pieces of pork covered in breadcrumbs and spice. I'm going to put them on a roasting pan. I'm going to show you just now. This is the last piece. that away. I'm just going to try and nestle everything comfortably on here. If I can get them 
to all fit in that would be very very nice and then I've got some canola oil that I'm just going to sprinkle on top okay that's it for the pork so the crumbing and the spices throw it away you're not going to be using that at all and now I've got uh, oven preheating at 200 degrees Celsius so it is actually quite high but what you want is a very high temperature for the pork because you've got a lot of fat going on here and you want it to be rendered nice and smooth and you want it to get a little bit hard on the edges so that's what we want so I've got a temperature of 200 degrees preheated and I'm going to put my pork in the oven So now I'm going to just clean up here because I'm going to use the station. First I'm going to start with the sweet corn. As you can see, nothing special, just some water just to cover the sweet corn and I'm going to let it boil. So that's the sweet corn on and next I'm moving to the sweet potato. Now the sweet potato I'm going to cook exactly how I make my butternut. So I'm just going to put a little bit of butter, a little bit of sugar and a little bit of cinnamon. Um, because I actually want to be making butternut, but I don't want to go through the trouble of peeling and cutting it right now. Um, so yeah, the sweet potato is easier because I had fingerlings. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so we've got the pork chops going in the oven, preheated at 200 degrees. So I'm going to do one side for 20 minutes, the first side 20 minutes. Then I'm going to flip it over and do the bottom side for 15 minutes. Because as you can imagine, it's already quite hot in there. That's going to get going quickly. I've got the sweet corn with some water. Just going to let the water come to a boil. And then after the water started boiling, we give it five minutes and the sweet corn will be ready. The sweet potato is the one that's a little bit on the finicky side because I'm cooking it the same way I would butternut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the temperature down. I'm literally going to cook it at a medium heat because what I want is I want to be able to get the heat to just melt the butter and let that cook the sweet potato for us and melt in with the sugar and just make sure that it doesn't burn in or get that car caramelization too early before the sweet potato is ready. So I'm gonna take it all the way past medium and then I'm going to put a lid on it as soon as I can find it. And then I'm gonna let all of this go for about, let's say, I don't know, let's give the sweet uh, corn about 15 minutes as well as the sweet potato. And then I'll come back when it's time to flip over the pork chops and then I'll show you how to make a quick gravy. So as I was cleaning up, about to walk away, I realized that I didn't um, make provision for any greens. And I'm feeling a little bit sorry for myself because the meal is a bit light, uh, with not that much carbs. So I'm going to be putting some green peas. It's frozen peas that I'm just going to be steaming on the stove top. Just going to be putting them on uh, very quickly as part of the meal as well.
I'm back. I just wanted to check a little bit on my parts. Let's see if I can show you the sweet potatoes. There we go. So you can see they're steaming nicely. It's getting nice and soft. And with the sweet corn, a little bit of a boil, not really there yet. And um, I've got the peas going there. The water is also coming to a little bit of a boil, so we're still on track. Just wanted to check on the peas because I can hear them rolling. I'm just going to give them just one minute and then I'm going to drain out the water and then put some butter in. I'm not putting in any salt because my pork chop is going to be salty enough for everybody. Actually, I think they're ready. I'm just going to take them out and just drain them. So as you can see, beautiful, bright, and green. Let's put it over here. Turn off the heat. And then I'm going to put in the butter. Nice knob of butter. You might think that that was too little for the beans, but... Um, it isn't actually because it's frozen pea peas. So yeah, peas, not beans. For the peas. But they're frozen peas and they are actually boiled and then individually frozen. So so they're parboiled. So basically all you are trying to do is just get the cold or the ice out of the vegetable and just restore it to its form of beauty. And that's basically all we are doing. Just added some butter in there to make it nice and creamy. And now that's ready. I can take it off. While I'm here, I might as well check on the others. Just gonna stir the sweet potatoes and then leave them as they are. And we've got a rolling boil over there, so in about five minutes we'll be ready for that as well. It's going good in here. And now our 15 minutes is up for the Actually, 20 minutes, yeah. For the one side of pork. And I'm going to take it out so you can have a look. Ooh. Can you hear all of that cracking? Nice and hot. So now I'm actually just going to flip it over. This looks so, so yummy. So I'm flipping it over and then I'm giving it 15 minutes, I think we said, on the other side. So back in the oven, the pork for 15 minutes and now I'm going to look at the other. As you can see, the sweet corn is boiling. You can see the steam coming out of it. Yeah, so that should be fine. So basically, I'm going to move the sweet corn away. I'm just gonna move it to the side. I'll drain it just now. 
And then the sweet potato is just quietly cooking over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this off. I'm going to take down the heat for the plate at the back because I'm going to use the one here in the front for the gravy. So I'm just going to make sure that I've got the one at the back with the right heat so we don't burn our sweet potato. And then I'm going to get my gravy gadgets. So I've got a gravy pan that I'm going to be using and I'm going to get started with it. So the gravy is very, very simple, also very savory as uh, you've seen with the pork. All we need is literally some butter, some black pepper. We need some chicken stock as well as flour. So let me get my stuff ready. So first of all, I'm going to start with putting in some butter. I did leave the saucepan on a hot pan, hot plate on the stove, so the cooking starts almost immediately. I'm going to also make down, sure I take down the temperature. So this is going to be quick. So basically I'm going to wait for the butter to melt. And as soon as the butter is melted completely, I'm going to be able to put in my black pepper as well as the flour. Because the flour is what's going to help my gravy thicken. So I'm going to start with that first.
Okay, so we're done. Just going to take the meat out. Oh, if only you could smell this place right now. So the meat is ready. I'm sure when the meat is ready, everything else is ready. Would you like to see? See the lovely porkiness has now rendered. It's all soft and we've got that runny fat over there. You can do so many things with that. I don't know what you like to do with it, but it would be nice to know. Just pop it down in the comments and let me know. Okay, so I'm just going to take you to each dish that we've made. So you, you see the pork, right? And then in here, we made the gravy. The quick, quick, quick gravy. Just wanted to whisk it out a little bit. So here's the gravy. It's nice and savory and it's got a peppery taste. But remember, I didn't go all the way with the pepper because I've got a toddler. So if you want yours to be all the way peppery, do that. And then I've got some sweet potato. <laughs> it actually looks like carrots if you're looking at it from this angle, but trust me, it's sweet potato. It's just orange. And then I've got the sweet corn. I seem to have gotten the colors right with this meal. And thank you, I do feel much better than when I started. And then the peas as well. So, yeah, so we've got a very colorful meal. Um, I'm just going to dish up now and then I'll just take a picture and show you in the next slide. Thank you very much for coming into my kitchen. Remember to like the video, leave a comment. I love reading you guys' comments. And just make sure you come back next time so you can spend some time with me in the kitchen. Bye-bye.